हेलो स्टूडेंट वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर हैप्पी हेल्दी एंड फाइन एट होम डू यू रिमेंबर वॉट वर वी डिस्कसिंग यस्तर डे आई थिंक वी वर डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्टिव मिथिलीन कंपाउंड आर रिएक्टिव मिथिलीन कंपाउंड विच इज अ सेकंड चैप्टर of organic chemistry ch 507 from this year the new revised syllabus implemented from this academic year 2021 and 22 by savitri bai phule pune university pune and in our previous lecture we discuss regarding that what do you mean by the active methylin group or the reactive methylin group as well as where it can where its utility or the application of that group and why it is introduced at tybsc level these kind of the introduction we have discussed in our previous lecture in addition to that how in which industries it these kind of the compounds are generally utilized such as cosmetic pharmaceutical and so other many industries chemical industries where these kind of the compounds are using for the synthesis of different compounds and why these what kind of the methylin group is a term as active methylin compound or the reactive methylin compound or the when ch2 methylin group is a flanked between two electron withdrawing group it is known as reactive methylin group or the active methylin group and here we are going to discuss very few examples of active methylene compound or the reactive methylene compound because at tybsc level as far as your level is concerned we will discuss only few of them let us see here active methylene active मिथिलीन ग्रुप हियर आई एम रिप्रेजेंटिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ द बॉक्सेस और हियर सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हियर एंड आउट ऑफ दैट फोर टू ऑफ देम इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज पर एज सिंथेटिक ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इज कंसर्न and first one let's see the structure of first one ch3 c double bond o ch2 c double bond o o et this is a one of the compound which is known as active methylene compound or reactive methylene compound because look at here this ch2 i am highlighting here or i am bolding here this ch2 in a square bracket so that you can focus you can concentrate your attention toward that ch2 why i am highlighting look at here carbonyl group on other side there is a carbonyl group and these ch2 group is flanked between two electron withdrawing group this group we can call it as acetyl and this group we can call it as a ester group 
on both side of the ch2 group electron withdrawing groups are present and therefore this ch2 group is known as active methylene group or reactive methylene group and this is the compound which has ch2 group and therefore this compound is known as active methylene compound or reactive methylene compound because these reactive methylene compound when treated with strong base the methylene compound which has proton becomes more acidic in nature after treating with a strong base deprotonation takes place and form as carbanion carbanion means what the carbon atom which carries negative charge the species which carries negative charge specifically carbon that type of the species are generally termed as carbanion when proton means hydrogen goes along with that strong base leaving its bonding pair on that carbon atom and therefore there is a negative charge is developed and that species is known as a carbanion and that carbanion can be act as a nucleophile and when that nucleophile on a reaction with alkyl halide we will get different substituted acetone or the acid specifically ketones acetone the name of this compound is a aceto acetic ester aceto acetic ester or you can call it as a ethyl aceto acetate or beta keto ester these are the various name given to that compound which is a synthetic reagent ethyl aceto acetate is a synthetic reagent number of different compound we can synthesize starting from this reagent and that's why it is called as a synthetic reagent and it is a very important as per as synthetic organic chemistry is concerned now let us look at as a second one second important compound ch2o eto c double bond o ch2 once again c double bond o and oet once again i am highlighting this ch2 you will notice here this ch2 is a reactive methylene group or the active methylene group because it once again it present between a two electron withdrawing group on both the side ester groups are there and middle one is a ch2 and that methylene group has a hydrogen atom they are highly acidic in nature and on treatment with strong base they can form carbanion and that carbanions are well stabilized due to minus i effect and minus r effect and what is that minus i effect and the minus r effect that we already discussed in our previous classes such as fybsc i think so so this is a reactive methylene group which is present 
in this compound and therefore this compound is known as active methylene compound the name of this compound is a malonic ester malonic ester or we can call it diethyl malonate di ethyl malonate diethyl malonate on both side there is a ethyl group and therefore it is known as a diethyl malonate and which is obtained or which is achieved from malonic ester malonic ester on reaction with ethanol in presence of sulfuric acid the resulting compound of 10 would be the malonic ester excess amount of the ethanol is using for esterification and the resulting compound obtained is called as a malonic ester or the diethyl malonate so let us see one more example here ch2 c double bond o oet in our previous lecture we had seen what are the different electron withdrawing groups which are commonly occur in the organic chemistry such as cyanide group nitro group ester group aldehyde group these are the commonly known electron withdrawing group look at once again in the square bracket i am making square bracket around the ch2 it means that there is a reactive methylene group here this is a cyanide or the nitrile group and this is a ester group and the name of this compound is ethyl cyanoacetate ethyl cyanoacetate would be the name of this compound now <coughs> this ch2 group is flanked between two electron withdrawing group and therefore such a compound such a groups are known as active methylene group or the reactive methylene group let us see here one more example nc then ch2 cn i am making square bracket once again so that you can easily recognize or you can easily identify CH2 group which represent active methylene compound or the reactive methylene compound because it is a flanked between two electron withdrawing group on adjacent side there is a cyanide groups are there and therefore this CH2 is known as a reactive methylene group or the active methylene group and this compound is known as a active methylene compound such compounds are known as reactive methylene compound or the active methylene compound the name of this compound is a malononitrile that is a common name given to this so here are four compound we have discussed out of that four compound the top two one one acetoacetic ester or ethyl acetoacetate or beta keto ester is very very important 
एज पर एस टी वाई बी एस सी ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इज कंसर्न एंड सेकंड वन इज अ मेलोनिक एस्टर दैट इज डाइथाइल मेलोनेट इट इज अ सेकंड वन एंड वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस टू कंपाउंड्स दैट यू वुड इन फ्यूचर यू मे लर्न दिस वन बट हियर आई एम हाईलाइटिंग वंस अगेन असेटो असेटिक एस्टर आर द इथाइल असेटो असेटेड और बीटा केटो एस्टर दिस टू कंपाउंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हियर लेट सी वन बाय वन फर्स्ट वन इज अ इथाइल असेटो असेटेड दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फर्स्ट here this lecture first one is a ethyl acetate ethyl aceto acetate and this is the first molecule we are going to discuss here just now we have a seen the structure of ethyl aceto acetate this one cs3 c double bond o then ch2 c double bond o o then et generally these ethyl aceto acetate can be represented like this cs3 c double bond o then ch2 c double bond o o then ch2 cs3 ethyl group we can write in this way or sometime it may represent at c double bond cs3 c double bond o ch2 c double bond o then o c2 h5 combination of these two carbon atom together and five hydrogen so these are the different ways to represent this ethyl aceto acetate or aceto acetic ester or beta keto ester so these are the different name given to this compound let us begin with the preparation of ethyl aceto acetate or here we will discuss the preparation of preparation of ethyl aceto acetate ethyl aceto acetate ethyl aceto acetate ethyl aceto acetate preparation we are discussing over here so this is our target molecule in a retro synthetic analysis that we will discuss that retro synthetic analysis in our upcoming semester means last semester fourth semester that time we will see that one here just remember this molecule you think little bit over here how could you synthesize this molecule have you heard this molecule this compound before in your early classes such as 11 standard to till sy bsc some of you may be remembering and some of may not be so let us see here these ethyl aceto acetate or aceto acetic ester ethyl aceto acetate is synthesized by using clazen ester condensation reaction 
I think these name you already heard or you might be familiar with this named reaction it is Clazen first time discovered this reaction and therefore the name is given to that reaction is a Clazen ester condensation reaction and what is the speciality of this Clazen ester condensation reaction he took the starting material ethyl acetate on a reaction with strong base sodium alkoxide and as we know that these alkoxides are easily prepared by using ethanol and the sodium metal the resulting compound formed will be the alkoxides so that here in this particular case acting as a strong base and which can abstract or deprotonate the highly acidic proton which is present on reactive methylene group and after the deprotonation the carbanions are well stabilized due to the minus i and minus r effect here once again remember ethyl aceto acetate this compound target molecule is synthesized by using Clazen ester condensation reaction. Esters having because we are taking as a starting material is a ethyl acetate means it is a ester esters having at least two alpha hydrogen atoms when treated with strong base alkoxide or sodamide undergo condensation reaction to give beta keto ester or aceto acetic ester or ethyl aceto acetate and what is that Clazen ester condensation let us see this preparation of ethyl acetate can be prepared can be synthesized by using Clazen ester condensation let me give here Clazen ester condensation condensation the word itself suggests that the molecules different molecules get condensed together there is a formation of new carbon carbon bond formation process occur in this reaction and therefore it is very important as far as the synthetic organic chemistry is concerned now is a Clazen ester condensation I am simply giving the general reaction of Clazen ester condensation see what he did CS3 C double bond O OET then he had a treated he has taken as a two moles of or two molecules of ethyl acetate 
will be treated with NaO, ET, ETOH, ethanol acting as an solvent over here and sodium here alkoxide sodium ethoxide act as a strong base when the reaction condensation takes place two molecules of ester two molecules of ethyl acetate condense in the presence of sodium ethoxide to form ethyl acetoacetate or acetoacetic ester or beta keto ester so here is cs3 c double bond o then ch2 c double bond o and o et and this is known as acetoacetic ester or ethyl acetoacetate or you can call it as a beta keto ester beta keto ester and this reaction is known as clazen ester condensation now in that we are going to discuss the mechanism of that clazen ester condensation reaction this is a simplest reaction takes place and we got acetoacetic ester or ethyl acetoacetate or beta keto ester but mechanism mechanism means what a detail study of sequence of steps which are involved in the conversion of reactant into product is known as mechanism in other way round mechanism is called as a language of organic chemistry and those are knowing the mechanism very well they can understood the organic chemistry in a better manner so here the mechanism the also uh, arrow pushing concept in fybsc we have a seen how the reaction get initiated how can be the intermediate form and finally how the products are formed the mechanism of clazen ester condensation is similar to the mechanism of aldol condensation in sybsc i think you have learned aldol condensation reaction it is again very important as per as organic chemistry is concerned because in the aldol condensation reaction the main thing there is a new carbon carbon bonds are formed when there is a formation of the new carbon carbon bond it means that it modifying it means we are getting as a new compound and that's why aldol condensation has great importance in organic chemistry the same mechanism is and what is the speciality of that aldol condensation reaction the starting material he has taken as a carbonyl group the compound which containing carbonyl group and has one of the molecule must have a alpha hydrogen atom then 
with the sodium I once again base catalyzed condensation reaction as well as acid catalyzed aldol condensation reaction in both the medium the reaction can be occurred and the condensation takes place and we are getting as a beta keto ester uh, sorry beta hydroxy ketone or aldehyde so that type of the compounds are known as a aldol condensation reaction there is a while in the mechanism there is a formation of the carbanions are there so only difference the mechanism of clazen ester condensation is a similar to aldol uh, similar to the mechanism of aldol condensation only difference is only difference in aldol condensation involve protonation of anion in the in this step clazen involve reaction of ethoxide ion as a good living group and following steps are involved in the mechanism there are three steps number one removal of a, of an alpha hydrogen atom by base to give resonance stabilize anion that is the enolate formation and step number second let us see step by step here the mechanism of clazen ester condensation we are talking about clazen ester condensation the mechanism here is a mechanism we are talking then first one ch h c double bond o o e t that is the step number first here what is happening here when the o e t minus sodium ethoxide when we are using here na o e t it will pick up the proton from here leaving behind the bonding pair and form as a charge over there so we are getting here ch2 c double bond o o e t minus charge over there when carbon carries negative charge on it these species is called as a carbanion look at here carbanion is a step number first we can say here step first right carbanion is formed and now there is adjacent at an equilibrium what is going to happen this negative charge forming double bond over here and the negative charge develop on that oxygen atom why because oxygen atom is a more electronegative oxygen atom is more electronegative than carbon and that's why this kind of the so we can represent here ch2 double bond c o minus and o e t when such species are formed it has a special name when oxygen atom carries a negative charge adjacent to the double bond these species has one special name remember do you remember it so here this species is known as a enolate enolate this species is 
generally known as a enolate and that we have already seen in our previous lecture SYBSC while studying as aldol condensation reaction. Only difference is there, here we are using as a ester and there we are using either ketone or the aldehyde, right? So here in the first step, this is the situation. Now let us look at as a step number second. What is happening in the step number second? So second molecule of the ethyl acetate C double bond O I am showing this way so that the mechanism you can modify to show the systematic arrow pushing. So here generally CH2 double bond CO minus and OAT that is a what we can call it as a the species which we are representing here this one what is happening how you can show the arrow mechanism is nothing but as a arrow pushing concept always remember negative charge attacking on that proton proton leaving its bonding pair on that carbon atom and therefore negative charge is formed here and that negative charge forming as a double bond and these double bond concentrate the electron density on that oxygen atom and the species formed that species is known as enolate and now this is a enolate and that is the original compound of ethyl acetate second molecule now what is going to happen here the negative charge forming once again double bond over here and this double bond attacking on that carbon atom look at this reaction center now this double bond is revolving around it and pushing there is a leaving of alkoxide group so that we are getting here this compound CS3 not this no. in the second let me show here once again not this one here CH3 then OET C double bond O then CH2 double bond C O minus then OED. This is the enolate species and what is going to happen this negative charge coming over here this attacking on that and now this forming as a negative charge on that oxygen atom and you will end up with this compound O minus then OET. There is a new carbon carbon bond is formed over there between this CH2 and this carbonyl carbon bond will be formed and then here CH2, C double bond O and OET. This ester group retain over here. Now this is a step number second. Now let me show step number third over here. I am taking that compound once again here CS3 then C O minus then OET let us see CH2 then C double bond O OET and what is going to happen here the negative charge is reverting back forming as a double bond over here and pushing that OAT means discharge from here and the form as a stable molecule ethyl acetoacetate CS3 C double bond O then CH2 
C double bond O and OET. This type of the compound is formed and this is nothing but acetoacetic ester or ethyl acetoacetate or beta keto ester. Beta keto ester. See the how these steps are involving here. Three steps are there. Number one, in the step number one, removal of an alpha hydrogen atom. This is alpha hydrogen atom. This is a carbonyl group. Adjacent is known as alpha. So in the first step, removal of an alpha hydrogen atom by base to give resonance stabilize this one this is a resonance stabilize resonance we can show here is a this arrow double headed arrow indicate as a resonance stabilize these two are the canonical forms these two structure can be form either this way or that so I think the first step happening over here and in the second step the enolate can be attacked over there forming as a new bond formation of new covalent bond between enolate that is a nucleophile and carbonyl carbon of another molecule of ethyl acetate and in the third step removal of ethoxide ion to give stable molecule of ethyl acetoacetate these are things are happening over there and this is a representation of mechanism of clazen ester condensation so i think in the next lecture we will discuss the acidic nature of methylene group as well as synthetic uses of ethyl acetate still then have a nice day thank you